Hello, I hope you're all well. Today I want to talk about sadness and depression. Sadness and depression, believe it or not, are somehow connected with anxiety and panic attacks by a very, very fine line. I say that depression is the other side of the coin of anxiety, so to speak. And even in the brain and the brain structures, they're very close together, they're very connected. So this doesn't mean that because you have anxiety, you're going to have depression or because you have depression, you're going to have anxiety. But most likely when we work through anxiety and panic attacks, that is the symptom. And when we remove the symptom, it's like we remove a lead and then everything that was inside starts to come out. And all the things that come out sometimes are sadness and unresolved trauma and unresolved um, feelings of anger, of sadness, or situations that were there for a long time, that were fermenting inside. And so the panic attack is that symptom that tells us like, okay, this is a little too much. I need to go in and see what's happening. And when we remove it, then some sadness um, sometimes comes. And people tell me like, I don't have my anxiety anymore. I feel good about that. But now I'm feeling like I want to cry or I feel like this sadness that I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know what's happening to me. And it's because all of that is starting to, to come out for for healing. And it's important that when we work with anxiety and panic attacks, we have someone, we have a, a professional uh, therapist who can help us go through all of that because anxiety is not just anxiety. It's something more that is happening inside and uh, it's important to have someone to help us integrate and heal and process everything that is going to come out after we work through the panic attacks and the anxiety. Uh, so I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.